Welcome back to Soda City Live. This weekend, the Lower Richland Alumni Association will be hosting an annual night of worship and scholarship with their Diamond Festival 2023. Joining me today to share more is Diamond Festival Chair and Vice President of the Lower Richland Alumni Foundation, Ms. Cheryl Harris, along with Communication Director of the Lower Richland Alumni, Mr. Robert Reese. Thank you both for joining me today. Thank you for having us. We're excited. I'm excited too. See, proud alumni, uh, awesome. alumni of yes. Laurel Richland. Yes. This is amazing, and it's such a, a great way to give back to the community and students. Right. Yeah. So, what does it mean to you to be in charge of such a great legacy? Well, I'll, I'll tell you, it's exciting because we are who we are today because of the education that we received at Laurel Richland High School. I think it's important that we do give back and that we also keep that heritage that we have, that, that strong diamond loyalty going in the community, that our students understand that they are important and that they will be able to compete in a global society because we're there to support them and help them. I love that. And what does it mean to you? So this is an opportunity for alumni to actually have a way to give back. And mm -hmm. so, and, and it's also uh, the fly jock Tom Joyner used to say party with a purpose. Yes, so this is an opportunity for us to have a good time. And then the money goes to some really um, extraordinary events that the school is, is having. Right. The district really does give a lot of money to the schools in our area, but sometimes that's restricted funds. Right. And so they need other additional funds. The ROTC is traveling, or they need maybe a TV and a monitor in the cafeteria. This is an opportunity for us to be able to raise some of those funds as alumni to give back to the schools. Now before we, we get into the Diamond Festival, we're looking at some pictures here. I want to also talk about just the importance of the Alumni Association. Mm -hmm. You touched on a few of them saying, you know, things like RLTC, because a lot of a lot of the resources or a lot of the things that are going on on campuses, some of the, people don't realize the educators for the most part are coming out of pocket for some of these That's things. That's true. So, so tell us and touch on the importance of the alumni or, or having Alumni Association so that it doesn't not just, it not just motivates your alumni to come back and help the school, but other schools as well. Absolutely. I, I think that it's important that our teachers and our school administrators feel supported. And I think it's, it's a, a great way to show support that I'm giving back to that school or that system that helped me to be where I am to help you know raise the bar for the next group of young people to succeed. I think it's critically important more so now as Robert was saying, a lot of times our teachers are coming out mm. of their pocket. So the teacher grants that we give them, they're allowed to use those funds for whatever project they may be having. We've sponsored field trips, field experiences for our students. We've purchased uh, shirts, t-shirts, simple things that the students want. We've purchased equipment for our PE classes to have field day. So those extra whatnots that they have, those dollars are there for us to be able to help them. And at the same time, as he said, parting with a purpose, we're also making sure that those students that want to go to college are able to have some additional resources and dollars in their pockets mm -hmm. to take care of those books and those other hidden needs that a lot of us don't realize that mm -hmm. our college students have. Absolutely. And let's talk about this weekend. So let's talk about the lineup. I see we have J.J. Harrison. I'm like, whoa, you yeah. got y'all got James some heavy Fortune. hitters. Oh, yeah. And James Fortune. Y'all yeah. got some um, heavy hitters. Yeah. Um, tell us about that. We've got James Fortune and Fire coming. We've got uh, Buster Fields from mm. Philadelphia. If you remember, he was in season 10 of Sunday's Best. He's coming back this year. He was a high demand last year, so we're bringing him back. We've got Justin Groover Roberts coming to us from uh, Jacksonville, uh, Florida. And then we've got here locally our very own Blanche McAllister Dyke. So we are excited about all of them that are coming out to lead in praise and worship. And we're just going to have an amazing time as always. Absolutely. And we're going to pull those details up on the screen. There's the tickets are $20 yes. and people are also able to donate as well, even if right. they don't come. How right. can they do that? They can go to the LoraRichlandAlumni.org page, which is LRAlumni.org, and they can donate from there. There's a PayPal account there, or they can write checks directly to the Laura Richland Alumni Foundation and specify that it's for scholarships or whatnot. Mm -hmm. uh, we're glad to have that. But also know that our students get in free. Oh, so wow. if you're in K through 12, you do not need to purchase a ticket because we want you there. We want you to be a part of this. So if they want to support us, we, we have that line of communication set up through our, our website. Perfect. Well, I want to thank the both of you for joining me today and representing the Diamond Hornets right. yes. here on Soda yes. City Live. Um, Laura Richland, uh, this Diamond Festival is going to take place at the Performing Arts Center, 2615 Laura Richland Boulevard on Sunday at 7 p.m. Tickets are $20.